Today I'm painting a blood claw for my custom Space Wolf chapter, the Legio Stormhold. To start things off, I applied a base coat of lead belcher to the model, and I have based it with some cardstock to make some marble tiles and a little bit of mixed grit sand. We're going to start things off with a single coat of Mars Black, and this is going to go over the entirety of the base uh, just to create a kind of dark marble uh, tile look. While that's drying, we're going to use some Blood Angels Red, and this is going to go over both of the shoulder pads to create a under layer that we're going to paint over a little bit later. And while we're at it, we can pick out a few details here and there around the model. Now because he's a blood claw, he has this little kind of uh, half knee pad. Uh, the other half will paint a different color in a little bit. Now using some Mars Black, we're going to pick out a couple of extra little details here and there around the model. Now I found early on when painting Space Marines that using a kind of very dark black is great for uh, doing a rough coat on the kind of exhaust vents on the backpacks, as well as doing a quick coat for all of the joint segments in between the uh, panels of armor, like the back of the knees, the elbows, things like that. Now using the Mars Black, we're going to very carefully create my uh, custom chapter's logo, and that is a red and black checker mark across the shoulder pads. Now I'm taking a little bit of care to make sure that the paint is not kind of uh, globbed on, but very thinly applied. This will still allow some of the metallics of the lead belcher to show through, but not super uh, visibly. Now using some deep yellow, we're going to paint the other half of the knee pad to signify that he is indeed a blood claw. Now once this dries, we'll end up doing three coats on it just to make sure that it actually retains its color. Then we're going to use some burnt umber to paint over all of the mixed grit sand. And I'm also going to use it to paint the little fur tuft that's hanging off of the lower section of his leg. Now I decided to try this for his hair as well, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Using a little bit of Artist Loft uh, parchment color, we're going to paint over the face to prep it for skin tones. Then using a little bit of gray dry brush, we're going to do a kind of medium dry brush over all of the tiles and follow it up with a neutral gray. So that didn't really work out with the uh, hair coloration, so I'm doing a all-over coat of parchment just to kind of prep it for some uh, contrast paint. Going back to the red, we're going to pick out a couple of little details just to add some color. Now using some glim and flesh, we'll do a quick coat over the face, but that didn't really look right, so I went back and repainted it with the parchment. Now we're going to switch to some Retributor armor, and this is going to pick out a lot of the kind of iconography and some of the uh, other large details and small details around the model. I'm focusing mostly on the uh, edges of the armor, any of the raised areas, and just to kind of give it a almost three-dimensional ornate look.
once the armor itself is done, we're going to go ahead and do some detail painting on the weapons. Now, some of these areas are very, very uh, fine detail work, so I'm taking a moment to be a little cautious to make sure I don't have paint end up anywhere I don't want it, because I really don't want to have to go back and correct a whole bunch of small areas. Alright, so we're going to try again with the Glim and Flesh here, and we're going to let that dry and see how it turns out. And a little bit of Gorgrunt of Fur on the hair. Alright, while that's drying, we're going to use some Snake Bite Leather just to do some quick touches for the belt. I've always liked the idea that while they're wearing a heavy suit of power armor, they're wearing leather uh, for their belt. Now using some Black Templar, I'm going to pick out a couple of small details on the backpack just to kind of create a two-dimensional uh, appearance for the black. Instead of using just one color, it's a very subtle two-tone coloration. And then we're going to pick out a few of the little detail areas and adjust the camera just to make sure that we can actually see, and I apologize for any focus issues leading up to this. Once the gun is finished, we'll pick out a couple of very small details on the sword, and then we should be good to move on to the next color. Now we're going to use a little bit of bronze, and this is going to go over a couple of the areas that have been painted over with the Retributor armor. This will give it a much brighter uh, bronze shine than it would if it isn't painted over a shiny area. Now after letting it dry, the face and hair did not look right, so I'm using a little bit of acetone on my brush to remove all the paint on those areas so that we can uh, rebase coat that section and try again. So I'm using a little bit of uh, gray sear base paint to paint over the face and the hair again just to give it a even coat and hopefully this will give the coloration that I'm aiming for. While that's drying we're going to use some copper to pick out a few of the final details around the rest of the model. So I'm using this to kind of pick out a few of the last remaining areas on the weapons as well as a couple of detail areas on the armor, such as the bracelets. And I found a couple of little kind of paneled areas, little squares on the armor, like it's a access port for some cables or something like that. And I decided to paint over those with the copper as well, just to give a little bit of extra depth. Now we're going to give one final try with Gulm and Flesh on the face. While that's drying, we can use some Agrax Earthshade on the base just to kind of give some shadow depth. And then a little bit of the Gorgorunta fur once more on the hair. 
All right, I really like how that turned out, so I think we're gonna keep it and call it a success. And then we'll finish up the model by doing a all over coat with the null oil, and we're only going to avoid the head and hair. All right, and here we are with the finished piece. I like how this turned out, and I'm looking forward to painting the rest of my army in the same color scheme. I've always thought of building a Space Marine army modeled after the Roman Legion, and I kind of feel like this paint scheme fits. So, thank you for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comments section, and we will see you all next episode.